So the best strategies for top performing financial advisors, referrals, writing books. I don't know how many of you have thought about writing a book, but um, certainly in the United States, you know, many, many financial planners, it, you know, it's just something you need to do. Write a book, base it around your expertise, base it around your experience. In many ways, writing a book is one of those ways of showing people and giving them proof that you have expertise. Um, many of the top performing advisors around the world put on seminars, they put on webinars, they use client events. Yes, they use web listings. They also work with introducers. They also do joint ventures with other people. They use LinkedIn. We were going to talk a little bit about LinkedIn today. They use search engine optimization and they use not brochure websites, but funnel websites. So a funnel website is basically a website where you offer something free in exchange for somebody's email address. So they visit their web, they visit your website. They can see that you're offering maybe a free download, a tip sheet. Um, and all they've got to do is give you give you their name and their email address. So you've got a name and an email address which you could follow up and they've got some value. So funnel websites with lead magnets are very, very powerful. And it's something worth thinking about. And some of them, if you've got a budget, they will hire agencies and they'll hire consultants to do some of the work for you. So those are the top strategies for top performing advisors. What about the lower risk strategies for new advisors? Well, the list is fairly similar, but it's definitely different. So referrals are still at the top of the list. Now, let me just talk about referrals for a moment, because I think referrals are really, really important. But most financial advisors around the world kind of, um, if you've done a great job for a client and they're really, really pleased with the help, you would hope and expect that they will refer you to a friend or to a colleague. Well, that's great, but it would be better if we could find a way of teaching our clients how to refer you. And again, if you can get hold of a copy of this particular book, this book here, Get More Referrals Now by Bill Cates, C-A-T-E-S, Get More Referrals Now. This is the best book in the world on how financial advisors can get more referrals. So uh, you might want to just make a quick note of that, get more referrals now um, and see if you can find a copy of that by Bill Cates. This book is the best book on how financial advisors can teach their clients how to refer them. Other things we can see on the list there, introducers and joint ventures, local advertising, web listings, yes, seminars. Obviously we can't do seminars right now, but we can do webinars a bit like what we're doing right now. I mean, here I am in the UK and I'm speaking to over 200 financial advisors in India. Um, so I haven't had to get on a plane. I would have liked to have got on the plane to come and meet you in person, but this is the proof. What we're doing right now is the proof as to how easy and how effective this can be. Networking, LinkedIn, content, and by content, I mean blogs, articles, maybe videos, um, YouTube, and maybe podcasts. I don't know how popular podcasts are amongst financial planners in India, but um, if you were thinking of one new strategy that is really, really powerful and that will help you to stand out from the crowd is to start thinking about your own um, podcast. And finally, old school, non-digital. Some of the things that I was sharing you earlier there, like, you know, local sports. Now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.